You can use a loop when you spot that you need to repeat the same sequence of commands multiple times. However, if you don't immediately see where you can use a loop, you can start by writing your program out normally and then change it to use a loop later. So let's write this program out without a loop. So first of all, we need to get to this coin here. So if we do walk, walk, pick up, so walk, walk, pick up. And then from there to get to the next coin, we need to do walk, walk, pick up again. Walk, walk, pick up. And then from there to get to the finish tile, we just need to walk forward once. So if we run this program, this should hopefully work. OK, great. We got to the finish tile. But we only got two stars. So let's look at our program again to see if we can improve it. So if we look at the program, you can see that you might be able to see that there's a pattern. We've got walk, walk, pick up, and then we've got walk, walk, pick up. So we're doing this, those three commands twice. So what we can do is we can add a loop, and then we can move the first set, one, two, walk, walk, pick up, into the loop, and then we can remove the extra walk, walk, pick up. So now what we're saying is we've got a loop where we do walk, walk, pick up twice. So if we run this program, this should hopefully get us three stars. And it has. Brilliant.